Hey guys, Cookie 95 here. I think I speak for all of us when I say that mobile game ads are the worst. Especially those thirst trap ones with all the anime girls. Oh, sorry, I mean waifus. YouTube has a huge problem with over-sexualized ads, usually involving waifus that are meant to bait horny people into playing mediocre video games. They often go against YouTube's TOS, and I may not be able to show you some of this crap. But if the advertisers can show it, then I should be able to as well. Silencing me would be a pretty big double standard. YouTube would be exposing themselves. Not that there's anything to really expose, per se, because most people know about this stuff already, because they've seen it firsthand or from another video. But that doesn't mean that I ain't gonna complain about this BS. And take, and take the Welcome to Cool Kid 95. We hope you enjoy your stay. I may not be able to find a video of this first ad anymore, but I do have some images of it. Basically, this anime girl is hot outside on the beach. Spicy, isn't it? So you forcibly stuff a popsicle down her throat like it's a cock! Then she begs you for more! How about no? How about the second ad for a game called Z-Girls? Not to be confused with Z-Bar, Z-Rex, or Z-Rex the Jurassic Dead. And this one, you literally make your wife want a generator. Yes, my favorite type is fucking Wally as well. <laughs> I don't know, guys. Seems kind of fucked. That's like pedophilia, dude. The first girl looks like something you may find at r slash fossil fighters. <laughs> but a bit older, thankfully. Also, young girl is an option, but it seems to be a young adult girl, thankfully. Phew. <laughs> Then you literally order your waifu in a fucking box like she's a fucking product. I don't mean to be that guy, but this kind of feels like objectifying women. Like, they're literally treating them like action figures. Well, there's certainly gonna be figures the player is gonna be having action with. Most of these ads, including the first one I showed, are for a game called Refantasia. Jesus Christ, do these ads go all in. Like, look at this shit. <laughs> As Jester Hammer probably said, IT'S TIME FOR ANOTHER CRUSADE, MY BOY! They also seem to have a running theme of raising a cute baby animal, and it growing up to be a... <laughs> sexy waifu. <laughs> Big pedophilia and bestiality vibes. Sounds like the perfect game for that sophal lady. Well, actually, she wouldn't like it since she's not attracted to people, she claims. Only... Animals. Fucking monster. Plus, I'm pretty sure these ads don't even reflect the fucking game. At least not completely. It's a lie, a scam, clickbait, and it's heresy! Heresy to the highest order, as Lance always says. And to summarize, I don't have an issue with sexual content on YouTube, as long as it's not full-on porn, which is fucking disgusting. Nothing wrong with liking it. I just think it's nasty as fuck. And no, Cornwall Crackleson, I am not asexual. I just have a problem with the sexual ads. With the videos, you can keep them behind YouTube search or something. Make it so that little kids don't randomly stumble across them. But, um, these ads? Imagine a little Timmy watching his wow wow wubsy when this comes on. He's gonna be crying to his mommy and or daddy. Well, this stuff needs to stop.
Please, YouTube, do something good for once. Stop removing the dislike button, removing the ability to sort by oldest on mobile, and removing the discussion tab, and actually do something about this issue. That's what they probably would. A bunch of greedy losers. Liberals, am I right? I have to show off the fan art corner, a place where your fan art is shown off to the viewers. First up is this image of my Discord PFP pasted onto a guy with an AK's face, with a hilarious caption, Hey guys, Kogan95 here, I'm outside of EA Headquarters. <laughs> it's funny because PopCap makes PVZ2's decisions and not EA. Fun fact, by the way. I should probably make a video on what PopCap has done wrong, but I don't want to be a broken record. At least I'm not a goon who blends it on EA. Derp, derp. The artist by Aaron, by the way. Next up is this drawing of the postal dude in the Family Guy art style by Ramrod. He did a great job, and it's very funny. Holy crap! It's two-time Emmy one of the postal dude! Hi there, Peter. I have followed you home to kill your dog. Uh-oh! <laughs> He also did this cute little image of my version of Dino from Conical Disenfranchisement, aka my stories. It's like the actual heart, but with the edges around it. Very goofy, <laughs> but in a good way. I like it. Next up, we have this absolute fucking gem by Aaron. Inspired by the description of the average Fossil Fighters fan shown in my Fossil Fighters 1 review side B. It's perfect. The OG Duno body pillow, the Postal 2 style petition begging Nintendo to bring back the franchise when they obviously won't. The admittedly super based Fossil Fighters Frontier sucks shirt, based because that game is the Postal 3 of the Fossil Fighter series, and the Joe Wild West hat instead of the standard neckbeard fedora. It's an absolute gem, and I declare it as Cool K95 approved. And finally is another funny by Aaron. He put Rosie's face on a bear rug, the same bear rug from my FF1 review side B, in fact. He made edits like this throughout the whole video. I should probably save them for the fan art corner of a later video. Because this fan art corner segment is getting too long. Tune in next time for Aaron's more questionable fan arts and hopefully more. Anyways, back to your regularly scheduled program. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you want to see me have an autistic meltdown about more topics, then check out my other video essays and reviews and shit. Feel free to join my Discord server. It's full of nice people and it's very friendly. You can even check out my stories when I finish or follow my Instagram. I could really use more followers. Anyways, thanks for watching and I'll see you all next time. Goodbye!